Hi, this is John Burton, and I want to show you a new game I'm working on. It's called Maynard. It's named after my grandfather. And this is a solitaire domino game. It's really based on um, the Klondike Solitaire, the most popular solitaire game there is. I tried to make it match in a lot of ways how that game looks and how that game plays, but it definitely has its own rules. Um, this is the playingcards.io version, uh, and if you look in the link in the description below, you can download this Maynard.pcio and upload it to playingcards.io to play this game. Um, it's a very fun, in my opinion, um, solitaire, patience-style game, um, and there are multiple versions of the game. This playingcards.io version can show you a full game, and you would do that by pressing the full game button here. There's also a mini game, and that's here. It's basically just a smaller set with fewer columns and fewer foundations. Um, so let me get into how the game works. The full game uses a double eight set of dominoes, and a double eight set is like a double nine set, but you take the nines out. And what you do in a double eight set, now I'm actually going to play the double six, the mini game version of it, but I want to show you what the double eight set looks like when it's first laid out. So I'm going to press the deal a full game button, and you're going to see all these double eight dominoes dealt out. So there you go. To the left here, we have the stock, and the stock has nine cards with one card flipped up. I use the word card for domino, same thing. Over here, you've got the tableau, and the tableau is six columns with seven dominoes, seven dominoes, six, six, and then five and five. Those are all the dominoes in the double eight set. That's 45 dominoes. In the mini game, which uses only a double six set of dominoes, it looks similar, only you use only one, two, three, four columns, and they each have five dominoes each, and the stock has only eight dominoes. The gameplay itself is actually identical in terms of the rules for moving things up and down. It's just basically the size. Over here to the left on the PCIO, you'll see all the different rules for how you play. Um, but I'll just go ahead and play a game and sort of tell you the rules as we go. Dealing this mini game here, here we go. We've got the, the tableau columns and we have the stock. Up here you'll see the foundations. Now the foundations are what you build on top of. Um, and for the foundations, they're always started with a double. So if I actually um, redo this a little bit, there you go. This one is a double here, the double five. Immediately when you have a double, you can go ahead and put it right up into the foundation. All these foundations are started by the double. When you move something out of a column, you just flip up the next card or the next domino, right? Um, now moving dominoes, here's the rules. The way you can move a domino from the tableau is Here's a legal move right here. One number has to always match, and then the other number that doesn't match has to be in numerical order. Now, it could be numerical going up or going down. So if I had the 6-5, I could have also played it here. Um, but instead, I have the 6-4 and the 6-3. Now, importantly, once I set this, once I set uh, the column, so when there's more than one dominoes in a column, this matching number has to match. So all the rest of these, if I ever added it on top, had would have to match. And they have to move in the same direction. So right here, I have a four and a three. The next domino I would be allowed to play here would be a six, two. I would not be able to play this two, two, even though I'm going in sequential order because the, the suit doesn't match. Okay? Now, um, when you're moving from the stock, the stock has only one card up at a time. And if you can play it, you can go ahead and play it. And so I am going to play it because if you see here, I've got a matching blanks and then it's sequential order from five to four. And I can turn up the next stock card. And what I didn't do here is when I moved this, I can also allow it to turn it up. So anytime there's a face down card at the top of a column, go ahead and turn it up. And as you see here, I got a double. So I'll move this right up to my two foundation. There we go. I'm already going pretty good. Now, this would not be a legal move because it's not a two. So it has to be in numerical sequence, six, four, six, three, six, two. So that's not allowed. Now the sequence, if you see over here on the left, it shows you the sequence. Um, in the mini game, the sequence, um, it wraps around 
and same with the full game, it wraps around. So that means the sequence is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, 1, 2, 3. The foundations is the same uh, rules. One has to match, you know, one of the numbers has to match, and the rest of the numbers are in sequential order. And once I start finding things to build onto the foundation, I will show you how it works. Okay, so I can't use this stock. So when you can't use the stock card, you flip it up, move it to the back, and open up the next one there. And this one I can use because it's 6160. Six, Double threes, excellent. That goes into my foundation. 4 1. Uh, oh, here's an important rule. If this card wasn't in here, that would be a legal play because it's 4 blank and 4 1. However, because this was already started as the blanks matching and then 5 4, the next card I would have to put here would be a blank 3. So even though this is two matching plus a sequential because the suit was already kind of started this is not a legal play so i have to move that back okay so i got nothing there next five four now here's where we can talk about the foundation the foundation you can build just like when you're building from the tableau you have to match, and then it has to go in sequential order. However, you can build either up or down, but once you choose which way you build, you have to stick with that for all the rest of the foundations. So if I choose to do this 5-5-5-4, five, 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 that means I'm building down. And I have this here as a reminder. That means all the rest of these have to also build down. That means the next three would have to be a 3-2, and then 3-1, and then 3-blank. All right, next. Perfect. <laughs> I'm glad we chose a build down game because that's a build down. See, it goes from down from two to one. So if that was a two, three, I wouldn't be able to play it because I've already selected build down. And as luck would have it, there we go. All right, flip the top card over there. Six, five. Oh, here's an important rule. When you're moving on the tableau, you have to move one at a time. I cannot move both of these as a group on top of this. That's actually an illegal move. So even though this would be legal by itself, because it's covered by the three, then I can't move it. The only way I'd be able to move it is if I did have an empty column, then I could put this in that column and then move it over and then drag it across. Uh, and note during the mini game, these two columns over here are not used. These two columns are only used for the full game. Uh, so I can't do anything with that. So I'm going to turn. There we go. We got another double. That's great. Um, five, three. Perfect. So here we go. We got five, four, five, 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 four, five, three. Um, building down. Last card of the stock. Can I do anything with this? Okay. So now when the game gets stuck, if you don't have any moves, you can do no more legal moves that actually move the game forward. You can click what's called the unstick button. What happens in unstick, the way to unstick a game is that you take the top domino from each pile, move it to the bottom and flip it face down. You would do that for each one. Okay, now I've got a button here in PCIO that does that for me. So I'm gonna click it. Are you sure? Yep, I'm gonna unstick it. So. Once you move them all down from the top to the bottom, if there's any face down uh, dominoes on the top of the pile, just flip it up. Uh, now you notice here, I have this thing called the unstuck count, and that means one. So if you're interested when you play a lot of games and you're trying to better your score, so to speak, there's no real score in the game, but you can kind of keep track of how many times you unstick the game, and the fewer times you unstick it, the better you did. Okay, so now let's see what happened. This was advantageous for us here because it, you can see I can move that up there. So five, four, five, 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 four, five, three, five, two. And now the five foundation is done. Uh, in the mini game, you only have to build up to four. And once you've built four, you can go ahead and flip them over to tell yourself, I am done with the fives. This five, one would go here. And I'm okay to turn that one over if I want. And in fact, because I have this here, let me show you a better move. I'm gonna move this here. That's a matching one and five and four. 
Now look what happens. The stock is gone. When the stock is empty, you get to take the bottom domino from each pile and move it into the stock. So that's a lot of incentive to try to use up all the stock on the tableau because then you get to take bottom cards that you may have had to wait a lot during the game to find and you get them right now. Now I actually have two options here. I could do this 6-6 six, six, that goes 5 and 4 or I could do this because when you when you the, the in sequence blank and 6 are next to each other in the sequence in the mini game. Um I'll do that for now and see what I get. Okay, a 6 blank. Go ahead and go there. Next, a 6-3. Next to the 6-4. Very good. And this last one, the 4 blank. And so I'm going to go ahead and unstick it for the second time. Yes. Okay, could move this here. Um, which I'll go ahead and do. And there we go. I can move that there. 4-4, four, four, hey, finally. Got another one here. All right. Hey, another double. All right, do I have all my foundations? Nope, I still need the double six, but I've almost got all my foundations. One, three. I'll use this soon, probably, because remember, we're building down. We're not building up. Um, and four blank. The four blank can go here because the fours match and then six and zero are next to each other in sequence. My stock is empty, so I get to move my dominoes from the tableau again to the stock. All right, now I got that six three. I could put it here, so I think I will. Okay, I'll put that there. Six blank. Four one. Yes, I can move that right here. Six. Here's, a, here's an example of wrapping around. Six, blank, and one. Uh, six, five. Another. Here we go. One, blank, six. Those are both legal moves. Six, blank. No, perfect. This, is, this goes up here. <laughs> so, remember, we're building down. So, the six, blank, here, the blanks are the matching suit. And then if you go down from one, or from zero, excuse me, from the blank, it gets the six. My stock is empty. Now, this is great. I get to move all of these into my stockpile, even that one. And now we have an empty column. And what's great about the empty column is that now, if I wanted to, I could rearrange the um, order of these. So if I wanted to get to, say, my 6-4, I could move them like this to rearrange them and get to my suits here. Okay, very good. Let me look at my stock. And there we go. 4-3, building down. 4-2, building down. Now I want to get to this 4-1, but now I've blo I've buried the 4-1 down here. i got to find a way to get to it. And this should help. The game gets a lot of tempo, so if you get to this point, then it starts to sort of move quickly, as you can see. Oh, there we go. That's great. Um, and I've got an opening here. So, what do I want to get to? I want to get to the 4-1. Let me move this here. 4-1. Now my 4s are closed out, as you can see. 4-4, 4-3, 4-2, And the sequence building down. Now I need the 6-5. Six, 6-5 five. Six, five is here. Um, it doesn't really matter, but I kind of like my suits on the left. The, I call it the suit. The one where that's matching is the suit, and the ones that are in sequential order are the ranks. Um, so now I need the 6-4. That's buried down here. So let me move you over here. Get you over there. 6-5-4. Now I need 6-3, which is here. Finished another one. Okay. Now 2-6 is 2-1-0-6, wrapping around. So this is a completed foundation. Now I need 3-0. I don't have it yet, but I can also just move this here, assuming something's going to come. One blank. That goes right there, starting at 1, then 0. Then, then I'm going to need the 1-6, which I have here. And then I'll need the 1-5, which is covered. But if I move that over there, 1-0-6-5. That's building down. Almost done here. Now we just got to finish it out. 3-1, three, 3 blank. Finish those out. And blank 5. 
blank four, and they are all done. I got through my foundations. Let me show you what it looks like building up. So when you build down, excuse me, this is what a completed build down mini game looks like. And I only had to unstick the game twice. That's a pretty good game. Now, as I said, the, the, the mini game is pretty easy. I, I like it. It's a good way to learn the rules and it's fun, quick game, or maybe for younger people. Um, but the game that I really like to play is not this game. It's the full game. And when you play the full game, you got to think more. You have more options. Yeah, that's it. That's how you play Maynard. Um, I think it's a fun game. There's also um, a PDF of the rules, as they are now, my first version in here. And like I said, you can download the PCIO file. In the rules, there's also an even bigger version called the Granddaddy version, where you use two double six sets of dominoes and you can actually build 14 different foundations and like one builds up and the other builds down and uh it's a big big version um but that one just doesn't fit on playing cards io io very well so anyway uh interested if you have any um comments and uh yeah i hope you get to try it out and enjoy thank you so much